A great way to describe operational excellence is this story. When I think about it, it scares me to tell it every time because it makes me feel older. Because I always say, when I was in the 70s going to college, so make that the early 80s, hopefully, going to college, right? I used to take these engineering tests, and you know, some of us remember, we used to have to study all night to take a test, and you know, we would drink Mountain Dew and stuff because they didn't have Red Bull back then, you know, so. <laughs> so we take this Mountain Dew, we're up all night, and we're studying for this test, and you know, we, we, next morning I go out to my car, and all of a sudden I just wasn't worried about that test anymore. Just wasn't worried about it. You know why? Because I put my key in the ignition of that car, and I was more worried if that engine was gonna start to get me to the test. You guys remember those days, right? When you turn the key, you pump the gas, come on, rrr, 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 rrr. and the car wouldn't start, and you pull the choke, come on, rrr, come on, and it'd fire up and it'd die. And some of us even parked the car downhill, pushed it, jumped in, popped the clutch, <laughs> trying to get it going, right? Remember those days? We were trying to get that engine started just to get us to where we had to go. It was, it was just a crapshoot, right? Today, when you leave, is anybody worried about their car starting? You just woke up, press a button hit a remote, put your key in, turn it, boom, fires up every time. Yeah. That's just how your operation should run. Customers should give us orders, the engines shut up, deliver the orders every time. We're not gonna stress over that, are we? We're not gonna worry about if we have the right parts, the right people, the right processes in our operations. Customers are just gonna give us orders. The engine of manufacturing is gonna start, it's gonna deliver the order. How hard is it? That's what we're trying to achieve. Right? And, and think about it this way, if um, we have an engine that starts every time, like over in Europe, they seem to like this example because they play this game called football, but they don't wear helmets and pads, I can't figure it out, they just have a ball in the field, they kick it around. But they call it soccer over here, right? There's 11 people on a soccer team. If you had your druthers of which way you'd want to set up the soccer team, think about how many people do you want trying to block the ball coming into your net versus how many people do you want on the other side of the field kicking the ball at the opponent's net? What would you do? I like to think of it as you have one super goalie who can stop anything. They kick it, I got 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 it. All you people be down there and I'm just gonna kick the ball to you. So you'll have 10 on the other side against their three. Not a bad strategy. That super goalie I'm talking about, that's the factory. Customers are giving this order, they want it configured this way, they want to ship this way, they want it like this, they want to paint it this way, I got it. Customer wants this many, they want it delivered, they want it over, uh, overseas, got it. That's the factory, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. All the rest of you players go on the other side of the field known as offense. Offense. We don't need you back here playing defense. The factory's got it. The factory's got it.